Hey, let's talk about how we can round to significant figures. Now, they're a bit different to decimal places. Significant figures, uh, well, let's go through exa some examples. That might be the best way to, to do this. So what if I asked you to round 3.2178 to three significant figures? The processes are quite, is kind of similar to decimals, but there are a few important differences. All right, let's see the first step in doing this. I'm going to work from left to right. Okay, I'm going to start out here, and I'm going to come in, and I'm going to stop when I hit the first number that isn't a zero. Okay, so if I started here, I come in, the first number I hit there is the three. It's not a zero. Okay, so that's where I'm going to start from. And I'm taking for this question three significant figures. So from there, I'm going to count one. No, sorry, I'm going to count out the number of significant figures. In this case, is three. So I'm going to count one, two, three. All right, they are the ones I'm going to work with. From there, that's where I do my rounding. Okay, so I'm taking the three significant figures. I came in from the left. I came in from the left. I stopped at the first non-zero, then counted out my three significant figures. Now all I have to do is decide when I do I round this one up or do I leave it as is. That's when I have to look at the next number, that critical digit that decides if the rounding goes up or if you leave things as they are. In this case, it's seven, which is five or more, so I do round that up. So my 3.21 will become 3.22. And now I've done it, I've rounded that to three significant figures. What about this one, 0.04328, this time rounded off to two significant figures. I'm gonna follow the same process, okay? I'm gonna start from the left, and I'm gonna come in, and I'm gonna hit the first number that's not a zero. In this case, it's this one. I ignore these because they're zeros the first non-zero digit. Then I'm going to count out my two significant figures, and it's going to be 0.043. Now all I've got to do is decide, do I leave it as 0.043, or do I round it up to 0.044? Well, that's when I have to have a look at the next number, the critical digit. In this case, it's not five or more. It's less than five, so I leave it as is. I don't round up, and I leave it as 0.0433, rounded to two significant figures. There are a couple of other tricky type of questions. What about something like this? 287,312, but this time rounded to four significant figures. Follow the same process. Start at the left, come on in until you hit your first non-zero number, which is that one, and I'm gonna count out four significant figures. Three, four, so I'm gonna be keeping those. Now, I look at the next digit, do I round this up or do I leave it? Well, the critical digit is less than five, so I'm going to leave it as is. But what happens to these numbers, okay? Because I can't just chop them off, because 200, sorry, 2,873 is nothing like 287,000. It's, it's out by a massive amount. So instead of chopping them off, I just turn them into zeros, okay? I just change them to zeros, and now I've got 287,300, which is very similar to my original number, okay? But it only has four significant figures. The zeros at the end don't count, but it is very close. It's been routed to that number, all right? So if it's a whole number without any decimals, instead of chopping the ones off after our significant figures and we've done our rounding, we replace them with zeros.